Hey, friends. I'm so excited to have you joining me for story time with Mr. Nathan. If you're joining for the very first time, my name is Mr. Nathan, and I'm so happy to meet you. Today, we've got an exciting story about our friend Sophia and how we all matter. You and I matter. You and everybody you know, we all matter and we are important. I'm so excited to have you joining me because if you've joined before, you know I need your help to get some of the information from the story and I know you're the perfect person to help me. So before we start reading, I want you to go ahead and get in your comfortable spot, that spot where you always join Mr. Nathan when we get ready to read. So I'm going to give you a second. You can go ahead and get in your spot and then I'll see you over here so we can start reading. All right, friend, I'm glad to see you made it to your comfy spot. I've got our book pulled up, and now we can start reading. So today we are going to read You Are Enough, a book about inclusion inspired by our friend Sophia Sanchez and written by Margaret O'Hare and illustrated by Sophia Cardoza. Are you ready? All right, me too. All right, let's look at this first page. What do you notice about this page? Yeah, Mr. Nathan notices that too. There's lots of pictures from a photo album, right? You guys probably don't even know what a photo album is. I bet you're used to taking pictures like this with your phone, right? But look at all those. They capture great memories with our family and our friends. Do you have some pictures that make you happy when you see them? Mr. Nathan definitely does. All right, Mr. Nathan is going to he's going to pull up his camera, okay? All right. I want you to take a picture with Mr. Nathan, okay? All right. 3 2 one. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like our friend Sophia wrote us a note. Let me read it for us. My name is Sophia Sanchez and I have Down syndrome. Hey, we had another friend in another story time that had Down syndrome too. That means I look different, I learn differently than most people. I was born in a small town in Ukraine, where I spent the first 16 months of my life in an orphanage. But in June of 2010, my forever mom and dad took me home to the United States, where I live with them and my three older brothers. One of my brothers has Down syndrome, too. I am just like any other kid. I like to read and draw in my journal. I love people and making new friends. I dance and cheer. And my favorite subjects are Spanish, music, and theater. So she likes to speak other languages, she likes music, and she likes to act. All right. My mom and dad are always taking pictures and videos of me. I love the camera. That's how I began my acting and modeling career. I am <clears throat> only a kid, but I know I am someone who is happy, loving, and kind. I have Down syndrome, and it makes some things harder for me. But that's just one part of who I am. And I believe in myself, and I want to inspire others to love themselves too. Because we are all beautiful just as we are. Let Mr. Nathan ask you some things. Do you like 
some of the same things as Sophia? Do you like to dance? And do you like to act? Or maybe, you know, we just took a picture. Maybe you like to take pictures like Sophia. Is that something you like to do? You know, Mr. Nathan really liked us taking our picture together for sure. He always loves seeing your smiling face. So let's see what else happens in our story today. Are you ready? All right, let's go. No two people are exactly the same. We are all unique and that's great. Wow, yeah, look at that. What do you notice about all our friends here? Nobody looks the same, right? We've got somebody who uses a wheelchair. We've got somebody who's got glasses. And what about our one friend? Our one friend has headphones on. Maybe it's because we're a little bit too loud. Maybe that's why they have headphones on. What do you think? Oh, and yeah, you notice our friend with a cat, but nobody looks the same. Is there somebody on there that looks like you? Ah, uh, okay. And if you don't see somebody who looks like you, guess what? We're going to meet some new friends here in a second. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Our one friend doesn't have a, a leg. They have a prosthetic leg. All right, being different is what makes you special. You are just right exactly as you are. So look, we have a whole new set of friends. Some are short, some are tall, some have long hair, some have short hair, and some of us have different skin tones. And look, yeah, our one friend, they have a service animal. One person's using a skateboard. What do you notice? Ah, yeah, exactly. Thanks for sharing that with Mr. Nathan. All right, let's keep reading. Let's read about what else makes us special. Being different can be lonely. You may feel like you don't belong. Have you ever felt that way before? Like you didn't belong or you felt lonely or maybe it might not be lonely, but maybe you felt sad because you were by yourself and you didn't have a friend to share something with. Yeah, right? I think we've all felt that way at some point. And look, what do, what do we notice in our picture? Yeah, that's right. It looks like two of our friends are sitting alone by themselves, but it looks like they might be coming over to eat lunch together. How do we know? Oh, yeah because she's waving at her right she's like hey you want to come over and eat with me yeah so she doesn't have to be alone neither of them have to be alone all right let's keep reading but we're all in this together everyone needs a friend oh man yeah especially when it's raining <laughs> And look at that, their friend brought them the umbrella so they didn't get wet. Friends help one another. Friends learn from one another. Can you tell Mr. Nathan about a time when a friend helped you? And what does it look like in our story that our friend is helping um, her friend with? Yeah, it looks like her books fell off of her lap and she's helping her pick it up. Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever had a friend help you do something? I bet. And I bet some of the adults in your life have helped you before too. And we learn from one another. What are they learning in our picture here? Oh, they're learning a couple of things. You're right. One person's learning to spin the ball on their finger. And then they're learning how to shoot and how to pass, pass the ball. You know what? Mr. Nathan, one time, he had a friend teach him how to bowl. Do you like to bowl? You do. What, is there anything like that that somebody helped you learn to do? Maybe something like jump rope. Maybe somebody helped you learn how to draw. I don't know. What's the thing that you remember? Oh, man. Yeah, I can imagine needing a friend to help learn how to do that. All right, let's see what else. Friends know that no two people are alike. A friend will celebrate you just as you are. What do you notice in there? Oh, remember? Our friend Sophia said she likes to take pictures. It looks like they're taking pictures. And can you tell me what their shirts say? It says... Dream, inspire, believe. Oh, Mr. Nathan can't read the last one. Oh, repeat. Dream, inspire, believe, repeat. Do you have friends that help you do that? I bet you do. But some people don't understand. They think being different is so scary. <laughs> Does it look like our friend has a very scary face? I don't know. Can you make a scary face? Let's see your scary face. Are you ready? Can you do like our friend here? All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know if that was too scary. You did a great job. Try to be good and brave and strong. Let people see the real you. Oh my goodness, what is our friend here? Uh-huh, a fire um, breathing dragon. And it looks like they got a lot of candy. <laughs> yeah. What were you for your last Halloween? Oh, man. Was it one of your favorites when you dressed up as that? And did you have fun being with all your friends doing the trick-or-treating? Yeah. See, that's the thing. I bet everybody was dressed up as something different. And yet we all had fun together, right? Absolutely. All right. Try to be good and brave and strong and let people see the real you. All right. Let's keep reading. Oh, skip the page. Sometimes things might seem bigger than you, but you are stronger than your fears. So even when it might feel scary. You are stronger and braver than that scary thing. Do you know what they're doing in the picture here? They're getting ready to rock climb. You're right. That's why you have courage. Courage is when something is scary, but you do it anyway oh man it looks like she's doing a good job climbing the wall have you ever done something that when you first tried it 
it was a little scary. You know, it could be something since we're in summertime. It could be something like learning to swim. It could be learning how to ride a bike. Anything that new, sometimes it feels real scary when we do it. But when we give it practice, it becomes a little less scary. Like in the beginning, it might be like that, right? And then as we practice and practice, it gets smaller and smaller and it's not so scary because we were courageous and brave. All right, let's keep reading. Don't let anyone stop you from taking a chance or trying something new. They say, blah, blah, blah. No way, you can't do that. You can't, that's too risky. Don't do it, no. Have you ever had people tell you that? You know, people have told Mr. Nathan that lots of times. And you know what? Sometimes they just tell you that because they want you to be safe and that's okay. They're looking out for you. But sometimes we got to know to practice being brave, but being safe when we're being brave. Surround yourself with people who love you. They are your cheerleaders. So what do they say? They're like, yay, you can do it. Good try. Keep going. Listen to them when they say, yes, you can. And what are our friends doing in the picture? Yeah, our cheerleaders, they give us high fives, right? So we can go like this. Great job. Can you do a high five? All right, we're going to pretend to do it, okay? High five. All right. Who are some of your cheerleaders? Who, who tell you when you're doing a great job? Oh yeah, a lot of the adults in your life. So maybe that's a mom, a dad, a grandma, an aunt, an uncle. Um, maybe it's a teacher. Absolutely. Who are some of those people for you? But you know, sometimes we're going to fall down. Yeah, she fell off of her surfboard. But stay fierce. You've got this because you get back up, right? So when she first tried it, she fell off and she said, oh, I got to do this again. And then look what happened. She was able to surf the wave. Don't stay on the sidelines. It's your story, so be the star. What are they playing here? Oh, yeah, they're playing soccer. Yeah. What do you like to play? doesn't have to be a sport. Maybe you like to play tag. Maybe you play hide and seek with your friends. What do you like to play? But the important thing is that sometimes we got to get out there and we got to try. We can't just sit on the bench, right? We want to be able to have fun with our friends. So we got to be out there to take part in it. All right, let's keep reading. Oh, this one's just a picture. What does this look like? Oh, you're right. It looks like they're waiting on the bus. What's on our friend's shirt there? She's got a pirate hat on. And you're right. It looks like a dinosaur, huh? Oh, yeah. And she's got a cape. Who else do you know that wears capes? Oh, yeah. Lots of times superheroes, right? So our friend must be a superhero. 
All right, let's see what happens next. Be you, wherever you are. If people stop and stare, just keep going. Remember, not everyone may understand you, but that doesn't mean you still uh, you can't still be happy just the way you are. Absolutely. You know what? Sometimes I bet people stop and stare when Mr. Nathan's wearing his duck shirt. But it's not going to stop Mr. Nathan because, you know, every time I have on the duck shirt, it means I get to spend time with you and we get to read great stories and learn from each other. So I can't stop doing it just because people stop and stare. Never say no to being yourself. Feel your own beauty inside and out. What are they doing? Oh, you're right. This must be the theater. And it looks like they're they're acting and dancing at the same time. What are some of the colors you notice in this page? White, pink, yep, blue, green, orange, red and yellow great job when you let your star shine you will brighten the world oh and our friend sophia she looks like a flower you know what kind of flower that is i think you're right i think it might be a sunflower all right let's keep reading wouldn't it be boring if everyone was the same? Yeah, we would be like robots. We would be like, hello, my name is Mr. Nathan. And you would sound the exact same as Mr. Nathan. That would be too fun. Being different is beautiful. How do we know our friend here is different? They've got different colors, right? Our one friend has white fur. Then we got some with brown fur. And it looks like orange fur. Yep. Just be you, because you are enough. What do you notice about this page? Yeah, it looks like they're having a picnic. And they have a tent. You know what kind of dog that is? Yeah, it's a Dalmatian. Absolutely. They look like they're having fun. Being enough means you are full of love. You have purpose. And our painting says, love the world and it will love you back. What's your favorite part about what we see here? You know what it is for Mr. Nathan? It's all the handprints on that make up that one tree. Because they all came together and they made a tree. And see how the handprints, they're all different. Because they come from each one of us. You aren't perfect. No one is, but you are okay being perfectly yourself. You are enough and your friend is enough. Everyone's enough. And look, everyone's helping out. Your teacher and neighbor are enough too. Remember that we all belong. And we got friends playing hopscotch. We got our friend. It looks like our friend is crossing the street. And it looks like, what do we think? Somebody might be moving. Oh, 
Oh, there's that dance class she talked about earlier. Look for the good in the world. Start by looking in the mirror. Love what you see there, right? Because who do we see when we look in the mirror? We see ourselves, absolutely. And that's the first person we have to love is ourself. What song do you think they're listening to? Oh, that's what Mr. Nathan wants you to do after we finish today. He wants you to pick out your favorite song and listen to it with the people that are uh, that you're with, okay? All right. Because just like me, you are enough. All right, friends, what a great story that we read today. It was so fun, and we saw everybody. We all look different, and we like different things, but everybody came together, and they got to be themselves together, and that's what we get to choose to do every day. Now, hey, before we go, you know, we have a song, and so... I want you to get ready, all right? So you need to make sure you have enough room in case you want to sing and dance along with our song today, okay? So remember, we got to stretch out and we got to make sure we have enough space so that we don't hit our, any of our friends if we know we want to move, all right? So as you get ready for our song, um, Mr. Nathan's going to get that ready for us and I'll see you over there. All right, friend, we got a new friend, Miss Katie. She's going to lead us through a song, okay? So we're going to get ready, and Mr. Nathan's going to hit play for us. Are you ready? Here we go. Hi, friends. It's Miss Katie. And today, I want to share a song with you called I Am Enough. What does that mean? I am enough. It means that I don't need to change anything about myself to be loved. Yes, we're still growing and we make mistakes and we try again, but you can still be loved exactly as you are right now. You don't need to be a different person. So for this song, I'm gonna sing a line and I want you to repeat. I am enough, I am enough. You are enough, you are enough. We make space, we make space for all of us, for all of us. I am enough, I am enough. You are enough, you are enough. We make space, we make space for all of us, for all of us. Mm -hmm. And friends, when I say we make space for all of us, what I mean is that everyone is welcome and we make sure that everyone is included. We don't have to like the same things. We don't have to look the same, right? I am enough, I am enough. You are enough, you are enough. We make space, we make space for all of us, for all of us. friend.
we say hooray, 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 hooray. Friends, when I say we're different and we're the same, what I mean is that we're all people, right? So in that way, we're the same. But we can be people in different ways. There are so many different ways to be a person, and we celebrate that. I am enough. I am enough. You are enough. You are enough. We make space. We make space for all of us. For all of us. I am enough. I am enough. You are enough. You are enough. We make space. We make space for all of us. For all of us. We are different. We are different. And we're the same. And we're the same. That's great, we say. That's great, we say. Hooray! 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 All right, what a song. Did you have fun during that song? Mr. Nathan definitely did. So before we end our time here together today, Mr. Nathan's got an activity. So hey, adults, if you want access to the PDF I'm about to share, reach out to me uh, at my email and I'll make sure that you get access to the PDF so you and your kid can do this activity together. All right, so today's story was all about being enough. And we learned about how we can all be different. And that's what makes us unique. That's what makes us important to the world because we bring something different than anybody else, right? So here's what I want you to do with today's activity, right? I want you to get a picture of yourself and I want you to get a picture of two friends and I want you to put it up at the very top. And then, you know, in our story, it talked about our cheerleaders, right? The people that said, hey, you can do it. We have three megaphones. So they're all about the people that they say, yes, you can. And it's loud and we hear it and we believe it. I want you to think about who are three people that do that for you. Is it mom? Is it dad? Is it some other adult in your life, a teacher, or maybe it's another friend. But who are three of those people in your life? And I want you to put their name or draw a picture of them next to the megaphone, put their name on the megaphone. Those are your cheerleaders. And adults, you might have to help, um, help the kids out to make sure this happens, but it's a great conversation to have. And then look at that. What does that look like at the bottom? <laughs> You're right. It looks like our phone might be dying, right? It's a battery. And you know, in our story today, we talked a lot about being brave and doing things even when we're scared. And what Mr. Nathan wants to know is how brave do you feel today? And so it might be not brave at all. And so I want you to circle the one. So can you draw a circle for me? Yep, just like that. And so it might be not at all. You're at 0% brave. Hey, and that's okay. Because sometimes we need other people to be brave for us. 
and that's okay. Maybe you're a little bit brave. You have a little bit brave. So you have just enough bravery to try something new. And you're like, I'm still a little scared, Mr. Nathan, but I'll give it a try. Maybe that's you and you circle that middle one. Or maybe you're full brave. You're at 100% brave. And you are just ready to attack something new, to try something new. And right now, you're not scared at all. But I want you to think, which one are you today? And guess what? All of them are okay. But it's just a way for you and Mr. Nathan to check in and say, how brave do I feel today? So remember, if you want a copy of that, adults, reach out to me and I'll make sure you get a copy so that you and your kids can do this together. My friend, I had such a wonderful time with you during today's story time. You are enough and you are somebody who shines a light in the world. And I just want you to know that and I want you to remember, before we go, it's always a great day to smile. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.